In Revelation chapter 4, we have a beautiful paean of praise to the Lord. The 24 elders fall down and they worship him and they say, You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. Or as the King James says, by your will they are, or for your pleasure they are and were created. Uh, at the beginning of the school year, I was contacted by a disadvantaged community out in the country, and they asked if I would be willing to donate about 35 backpacks with school supplies for many of the children that were starting school that year. And I was willing to do that happily, asked if I could put a Bible storybook in with the other materials and they were eager to have that happen and so I went and bought the supplies and uh, went to the event and the whole community was there probably 350 400 people and they had all sorts of booths and free food and uh, uh, activities for the children but eventually everything kind of settled down and they had special speakers come and some people from the uh, county sheriff and others and they spoke about bullying and they spoke about gangs and they spoke about drugs and so on. Actually no, not many people were paying much attention. There was an awful lot of chatter and running around and so on. But as we came towards the end of the evening the mayor picked the microphone up and said, is Mr. Nicholson here? and called me up to the front and gave me the microphone and said, say what you want to say. And the moment I began to speak, the place went completely silent. And I said to the children, now you're going to be receiving some backpacks with school supplies. I hope you use them wisely. I want you to know they're not from me. I'm just the delivery boy. These are from Jesus. He wants you to know how much he loves you. And when you get home tonight, if you feel thankful, you get down by your bed and you thank Jesus for providing these wonderful gifts for you. Now, I said when you open up the backpack, you'll find some pencils and some wooden rulers, some paper and this book. And you know, they all have something in common. They're all made from trees. Now, who decides that this particular tree is turned into pencils and this one becomes paper and that one becomes a book? Who, who decides that? Does the tree decide that? No. Does the pencil decide that? Does the paper decide that? No. No, the pencil maker, the ruler maker, the paper maker, they're the ones who decide that. And you know, when you buy a new car, there's a little book in the glove compartment. It's called the owner's manual. It's not made by the owner. It's made by the maker. It's made for the owner. The maker knows the best way to use that car. And he's put the instructions in there. Some people don't pay any attention to it and they end up with trouble. We've been listening tonight about gangs and drugs and bullying and all these things. You know what that is? That's people who aren't reading the instruction manual who aren't paying attention to what God says. Every time you use one of those pencils, you remember that just like that pencil, it's no good without a point to it. And your life is no good without a point to it. God wants to show you his will. It's for his pleasure that we were created. And he knows exactly what you will be best at because he made you for that. And the very first thing he wants you to realize is that he doesn't just want to give you a backpack and paper and pencils. He's given you his own life. Christ died for our sins so that we could be the friends of God, have our sins forgiven. And he not only has died for us, he wants to give us as a gift everlasting life so we could live with him forever. But you're going to have to be honest with him and tell him you're the sinner that Jesus died for and receive him as your personal Savior. And if you do, it'll be the best day of your life. And you will pass, the Bible says, from darkness into light. And God will begin to show you his will so that you can live a life of purpose 
and direction and fulfillment because it was God who created us and for his pleasure we are and were created. I trust that you'll pray for us as we seek to reach out to many of these students and communities with opportunities like this to point a little bit to the Savior. And I'd encourage you, as you move through life, to look for modern day parables, for ways to illustrate the gospel. These are bridges that take people from where they are. They understand backpacks and paper and pencils and rulers and to bring them across the bridge to the Savior, just the way he did in telling stories. And may the Lord help us and give us wisdom from above so that we can communicate with people where they're at, not where we're at, but where they're at, and come to them with the gospel and share it with them in a way that's both appealing and understandable and simple and accurate so that believing these things these might be words whereby they might be saved. May the Lord bless you as you seek to be a witness for him.